Hello everyone. Welcome back to this amazing channel of Infinity Learn by Shri Chaitanya. I am your host and host and you all call me AV. And guys, today we are discussing the solution of the paper MPL. Okay, your LTC MPL chemistry paper will be discussed in today's session. Those who have attempted this session, you can directly go through the video and see whatever answers we have marked, whether they are right or wrong. But yes, those who are new to this channel and those who have not attempted this paper, I'll personally recommend you guys, hey, please stop the video the moment new question comes in front of you. Solve it or mark your answer in the mind and then just go and check whether the answer is right or wrong. Okay, so this is a bit of information that I'm giving to all the people out there. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started with question number one that came in this paper. So question number 51. Sodium chloride is an example of, okay, it's a theory and memory based question. Please remember sodium chloride that is NaClO3 and sodium ortho arsenate that is Na3ASO3, okay, they both act as a herbicide. So question number 51, option number 4 will be the right answer. Talking about 52, regarding photochemical smog, incorrect statement is, it is oxidizing in nature, this is a correct statement, it is a non-classical smog, correct statement, acrolein and pan are some constituents of yes, that is also what correct statement, apart from acrolein and pan, okay, methanol, NO2, okay, and then you can also say uh, what we say, mm, methane, okay, they all are what constituents of what photochemical smog. It occurs in winter seasons? Wrong. It doesn't occur in winter seasons. Okay, so option number four is that. Okay. Now, 53. Match column one with column two and select the correct answer using the following code. CO2 is a greenhouse gas. So A belongs to two. So A2, A3, not the right answer. A2, A4, not the right answer. H2SO4 is a secondary pollutant. Right, so B should be 1, B1, B3. So, even this is not the right answer, so I'll go with option number 1. So, 53, option number 1 will be the right answer. 54. Most important ion responsible for eutrophication of lakes is eutrophication of lakes. Okay, the ions that are responsible for eutrophication of lake is phosphate ion and nitrate ion. Okay, so 54, option number 4 will be the right answer. Okay, and then next. A water sample with higher COD value is less polluted. False. It is more polluted. Major components of acid rain are H2SO4 and HNO3. That is true. So the first statement is incorrect. Second statement is correct. That is option number 3. That will be the right answer. 56. The alkene which in which the product obtained is same whether addition of HBr occurs in presence or absence of peroxide. Okay, and if the product is same, that means we are dealing with a symmetrical alkene in spite of an unsymmetrical alkene. Okay, so if you'll see question number uh, 56, option number one is but to it, which is a symmetrical alkene, and that will be the right answer because in symmetrical alkene irrespective of whatever reagent you take the product will still remain the same if you add unsymmetrical reagent to a symmetrical alkene okay this difference okay the difference will be created when the alkenes are unsymmetrical option 2 3 and 4 here alkenes are unsymmetrical so you will get two different products whereas option number 1 it is symmetrical alkene so you will get one product only so question number 56 right option is 56 option number 1 57. The hydrogen iodide, which uh, the hydrogen iodide, which shows peroxide effect in its reaction with alkene. Peroxide effect is shown by HBr. Okay, peroxide effect is shown by what HBr. 58. Okay, so organic compound purification technique, camphor. We know it is sublime, so it will undergo sublimation. So one is B. So 1A, not the right answer, 1B, 1C, not the right answer, 1B. Nitrobenzene, 
okay it is insoluble in water but yes it is a steam volatile okay so it undergoes steam distillation 2a so 2c not the right answer and hence i'll go with option number 4 59 sink to carbon monoxide sink basically means for removal of pollutant okay and hence decreasing the pollution in the environment so sink to carbon monoxide again a theory based question it is what microorganisms of soil so sink to carbon or monoxide is what microorganism to soil so 59 option number 2 is the right answer 60 all the following are the favorable condition for the formation of ionic bond except large size of of the cation yes it favors it favors small size of anion favors high charge of anion high charge of anion does not favor does not favor and hence option 3 will be the right answer why it does not favor is because high charge on the anion means what okay high charge high charge on the anion simply means okay it will increase increase the anion size okay so as charge of anion increases size of the anion also increases and if size increases polarizability increases and if size increases polarizability increases and since polarizability increases polarization increases and since polarization increases uh, an ionic bond there will be more of a covalent character okay so i'll go with 60 option number 3 is the right answer is that thing clear guys so question number 60 option number 3 is the right, uh, right answer talking about the option number 4 low charge on the cation yes low charge on the cation favors what low charge on the cation favors what the ionic formation so question number 60 option number 3 is the right answer 61 which one of the following molecule violates octet rule okay if you will see all forms octet whereas pcl5 forms super octet Okay, it forms. Uh, I guess ten electrons in the outermost shell by sharing of electrons. So yes, question number sixty-one, option number two is the right answer. Sixty-two. All the following species have regular geometry, except okay, except if you see CF four. There are four electrons in the outermost shell, four bonds, so regular geometry. BF three, three electrons in the outermost shell, regular geometry. Six electron in the outermost shell, regular geometry. That means this is tetrahedral. This is trigonal planar, and this is octahedral. Whereas if you see Cl F three, okay, Cl F three, the structure will be like this. It is bent T shaped structure. Okay, so it is not a regular geometry. So I'll go with option number one. So sixty two option number one is the right answer. Sixty three. The species with maximum bond angle among the following is barium chloride. Clearly, it can be written or it can be seen. It is 180 degree, and more than 180 degree, we do not have any molecule. So it is 180. So 63 option number one will be the right answer. 64. The hybridization of central atom in XeF2 molecule. So XeF2 molecules means what? Two fluorine atoms means what? Two sigma bonds plus remaining is six electron. That means three lone pair. That is equal to five. And hence its hybridization will be S P three D. That is option number three. Again, okay, so sixty four option number three. Sixty five. Which one of the following species is diamagnetic with bond order two? See, if you know this thing, it is pretty much clear. If not, I'll show you exactly how. But yes, carbon is a uh, carbon has bond order two. Please make a note of it. Carbon has bond order two. How we have to write the electronic configuration? That is sigma one s two. Total number of electron per carbon is how much? Twelve. Total number of electron for beryllium is eight. Nitrogen is fourteen and boron is ten. So sigma one is two. Okay. Then sigma star one is two. Sigma two is two. Sigma star two is two. Right. Then one second. Then comes sigma. Oh wait, pi two p x two equal to pi two p y two. Okay, so this is the electronic configuration. So two 
फोर सिक्स एट टेन ट्वेल्व ओके सो ट्वेल्व इज दैन सो वॉट इज द बॉन्ड ऑर्डर बॉन्डिंग एंटी बॉन्डिंग कैंसर बॉन्डिंग एंटी बॉन्डिंग कैंसर बॉन्डिंग ओके सो देर आर हाउ मेनी देर आर टोटल हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड एन टू फाइव बॉन्ड आर फॉर्म एंड सिंस देर इज नो अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन इट इज डाया मैग्नेटिक इन नेचर वेर इज इफ आई टॉक अबाउट बेरिलियम बेरिलियम विल बी दिस मच only this much okay that means total eight electrons so obviously there is no bond that exists so that means no bond order nitrogen we know that the bond order is 3 nitrogen we know that bond order is what 3 talking about boron boron will come over here that means okay so sigma 1 is 2 sigma 2 is 2 uh, 10 and this will be 12 like this over here clear sure perfect great so 65 option number 1 will be the right answer 66 co bond order in carbonate ion is equal to carbonate ion is this okay clear it will have three resonating structure so if i want to calculate bond order total number of bonds in three resonating structure will be what four total number of bonds between them okay i am taking this as a basis So there will be four, right? And the total number of resonating structure is three. So that will be one point three three value, right? So sixty six option number four will be the right answer. Sixty seven. Which one of the following is non-reducing sugar? Memory base sucrose is a non-reducing sugar. Sixty eight. The following structure represent. Okay. So you will see niche, niche, upper, niche, upper. Okay, so basically down, down, up, down, up. So for beta, for beta, I have a shortcut for beta glucose. For beta glucose, it is what OH with respect to OH, up, down, up, down, up, down. These are the configuration of OH for each and every carbon atom. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. For alpha, only this will change. Down, down, up. down up down okay only first will change right so first of all this is a cyclic uh, this is a cyclic and hence it's not a fischer's projection formula secondly it is down down configuration that means it is alpha d glucose so option number 1 will be the best answer for this 68 1 69 the presence of five hydroxy group in glucose is indicated by the reaction with acetic anhydride in the presence of acetic acid so this is the answer 69 70 glucose gives you an exam that happens in the presence of red phosphorus and iodine okay not iodine sorry red phosphorus and hi not iodine red phosphorus and hi that is 70 option number 4 is the right answer 71 when glucose is oxidized to nitric acid okay the product obtained is so glucose is this so if you oxidize it both cho group and ch to oh group will get converted to what carboxylic acid and this is known as sacric acid or glucaric acid so 71 option number 1 will be the best answer over here okay 72 incorrect statement about polysaccharides incorrect statement they are sparingly soluble in water correct they are amorphous correct they are tasteless correct they are non sugars incorrect so i'll go with option number 4 they are non sugars okay 73 sucrose on hydrolysis gives a pair of glucose and fructose which are functional isomer of each other so 73 option number 3 74 sucrose is a disaccharide in which glycosidic linkage is formed please remember in all the disaccharide sucrose is only disaccharide which has combination of c1 and c2 which has combination of what c1 and c2 and in all the option option 2 has c1 and c2 combination and in rest of the disaccharide it is c1 and c4 combination okay so 74 option number 2 will be the right answer 75 starch is a polysaccharide okay regarding starch correct statement is a mylopectin consists of 80 to 85% of starch which is a highly branched polymer that is true so hence i'll go with this option itself 75 option number 1 is true okay whereas the remaining 15 to 20% is amylose okay 
76 condensation of alpha amino acid leads to the formation of polypeptides and proteins the number of peptide bonds in pentapeptide number of peptide bonds so if you remember if it is a dipeptide the number of peptide bond is 1 if it is tri the number is 2 if it is tetra so the number is 3 and if it is pentapeptide the number will be 4 so answer is 4 76 answer is option number 2 2 amino propionic acid 2 amino propionic acid okay so if i talk about 2 amino propionic acid it is what it is alanine okay its common name is what alanine it's an alpha amino acid known as alanine okay Okay, so you for this you need, should uh, need to remember the structure of all the amino acids, all the given 20 amino acids. Okay, 78. During the denaturation of protein, the structure which is unaffected is primary structure like quaternary, tertiary and secondary structure all get destroyed and get converted into the primary structure of protein. Okay, that is what denaturation of protein. So, 78 option number 3 will be the best answer. 79. The shape of or shape of polypeptide chain is explained by okay so if i talk about shape of a polypeptide chain or basically proteins it has been explained by the hydrogen bonds present in it and that has been best explained by the secondary structure with the help of an alpha helix structure and beta pleated sheet so for 79 i'll go with option number three okay 80 so these are vitamins these are deficiencies okay so this is a purely memory based thing vitamins and deficiency okay vitamin a is xerothalmia okay so first is c so first is c this is gone d a uh, sorry first is c is there any c no so we got the answer okay so first is c if i talk about b6 it is convolution if i talk about vitamin d is this and vitamin b1 is very very okay yes but since vitamin a c that is one c option number two will be the best answer 81 that this is scurvy memory based question again it is due to the deficiency of ascorbic acid 81 option number four 82 the nitrogenous base not present in dna so if i talk about dna it is a t g c if i talk about rna it is a u g c so in dna uracil is not present and in rna thymine is not present so 82 since it is dna i'll go with option number one 83 all hormones are proteins false all receptor sites of hormones are protein true so incorrect that is of uh, statement one is incorrect statement two is correct so we'll go with option number three 84 which one of the following hormones modulate the inflammatory reaction and are involved in a reaction of stress? Again, 84 memory based question will go with glucocorticoids. Okay, clear. So, 84 option number 2. 85. Which one of the following contains CH2SH? Again, you have to remember the structure of amino acid. CH2SH is a group for cysteine. Okay. It is what a group for what? Cysteine. Clear? Then, 86. The depletion of ozone layer in Antarctica is due to various reactions occurring in different seasons. Which of the following reaction occurs in spring season? If I talk about spring season, spring season, in spring season, if I am not mistaken, it is a photolysis. Okay, it is a photolysis of SOCL, that is hypochlorous acid and chlorine. Okay, and they produce the uh, individual free radicals. So out of all the things, that is it. Option number one, photolysis. It is photolysis. Option number one will be the right answer. Right? It is seven. The retarding factor RF of four component A, B, C, and D in TLC is this, respectively, the least adsorbed component. You should know this thing. RF is inversely proportional to extent of adsorption. So more the RF, least will be the extent. So out of all this thing, more RF is 0 0.9 that belongs to C. So option number C. 
88 in identify incorrect statement regarding the column chromatography so column chromatography involved uh, principle involved is adsorption correct silica gel is a stationary phase correct mobile phase is liquid correct it is an example of ascending chromatography false means right answer it is an example of descending chromatography okay so 88 option number 4 will be the right answer 89 which of the following is non polar molecule non polar molecule means it does not have first of all non polar molecule it does not have any lone pair or or its all components have been resolved okay so if you will see so2 so2 is polar bf3 is non polar okay SF4 is polar and whereas H2 is also what polar. So out of all four, I will go with option number 2. So 89 option number 2 is the best answer. 90. Among the following species, bond order is highest in. Okay, there are two ways to solve this thing. Either you can write the electronic configuration or you can use this technique. O2, 2 plus. O2, 2 plus is equal to what nitrogen, nitrogen has bond order as 3. Then O2 plus the bond order is 2.5. Then O2 the bond order is 2. Then O2 minus the bond order is 1.5. O2 2 minus that is equal to fluorine and the bond order is 1. Okay, so this is the best way to remember this is bond order. So bond order goes in this way and bond length will be opposite of it. Okay, bond length will be what opposite of it. What they have asked is among the following OO bond order is highest in O2, O2 plus, O2 minus, O2, 2 minus. I'll go with O2 plus. You can do this thing with, with the help of electronic configuration as well or you can remember this shortcut. Okay, this is the best one. 91. Intermolecular hydrogen bonding leads to association. The species which cannot involve the intermolecular hydrogen bonding S. If you'll analyze all the options, you'll mark HCl because HCl is gas. Okay, please remember this thing. In uh, halogen family, the only hydride or only hydro uh, halo acid that forms hydrogen bonding is hydrogen fluoride. That is liquid and rest all are what gases. So HCl does not form any hydrogen bonding. So 91 option number 3. 92. Fructose. Uh, fructose probably is the most abundant organic compound on the earth. That is false statement. Glucose might be but not the fructose. Commercially, glucose is obtained by the hydrolysis of starch by boiling it with dilute sulfuric acid at 393 Kelvin and 223 atmospheric pressure. That is true. So again, option number 3 is the best answer. Next, 93. Carbohydrates having deconfiguration need not always be dextrorotatory. Two. D plus glucose and L minus glucose are pair of enantiomer. That is also true. So question number 93, option number 1 will be the best answer. Okay. 94. Glucose has 4 chiral carbon atoms, C2, 3, 4, 5 in open chain structure. Okay. The absolute configuration in 3 of the chiral carbon is F, uh, sorry, R, whereas it is S configuration at the other. The carbon atoms the carbon atom of glucose with S configuration. So for that thing, CHO, CH2OH. Okay, what I have taught to the student is right, left, right, right. Again, I'll repeat right, left, right, right. So two, four, five. They are same, right? So they will be R configuration. This will be S configuration. So, 94 C3 will be the right answer. So, 94 C3 is the right answer. 95. Number of chiral centers in beta D minus fructofuranose and alpha D glucose fructofuranose, pyranose are respectively. So, see, if I talk about glucose open chain structure, there are four chiral centers. But the moment it get converted to cyclic, the moment it get converted to what cyclic, it has five chiral centers. Similarly, if I talk about for fructose, again it is three chiral center. It gets converted to what cyclic, 
that is for chiral center so for fructose it is four chiral center for glucopyranose it is five chiral center so i'll go with the option 4 and 5 95 option number 3 is the right answer 96 which disaccharide is represented by the above structure okay i can see that this is 1 2 3 4 so this is 4 and this is 1 so it is c1 c4 so there is no problem with c1 and c4 okay and the only structure that exists in this format is lactose okay is what lactose so which of the disaccharide represent the above structure it is lactose so 96 option number 1 97 glucose and galactose are c4 are a pair of c4 epimer whereas c2 epimer is mannose okay and this is galactose so question number 97 option number 3 will be the right answer 98 essential amino acids of the following are valine essential histidine essential phenylalanine essential glycine non essential okay so essential there are a b c so a b c only option number 1 will be the best answer 91 amino acids are insoluble in water amino acids are amorphous solid false this both are incorrect so option number 4 will be the best option 100 proteins and polypeptides are formed by the condensation of alpha amino acids the correct representation of dipeptide is the correct representation of the dipeptide glycine alanine so see polypeptide is always written as n terminal to c terminal that means here it will be cooh here it will be nh2 and the only option that you can see is 1 and 2 so 3 and 4 is definitely not the right answer what is glycine glycine is ch2 c ooh and nh2 so here is the nitrogen uh, uh what we say n terminal talking about alanine aniline is two amino propionic acid so So you have to remove this water from here, and you will get structure as NH2, then CH2, CO, NH, CH, CH3, COOH. So NH2, CH2, CO, NH, CH, CH3. So option number one will be the best answer. Option number two is allylene glycine. Okay. Alanine, uh, alanine glycine. Okay, but hundred I'll go with option number one. Okay, hundred will go with what option number one. Clear? Sure. So guys, that was the question that came up in your examination. Uh, this paper I must say it was you know ninety percent or almost ninety nine percent as a matter of fact I can say that it was pure memory based question because most of the question was coming from uh, environmental chemistry and. some of the question was from biomolecule most of the question comes from what environmental chemistry and biomolecule yes somewhat related to chromatography you have seen okay something related to organic chemistry like marconic of and anti marconic of rule okay so all those things were there but yes this question was uh, this question paper was mostly of theory based so if you have if you know the concepts where if not concept if you know the content very well this paper might have gone very easy But still, if you feel like there is some doubt, some difficulties on any of the questions, we are waiting for your comment. Okay, so please comment it uh, in this particular video. Whatever doubt, difficulty you have, will definitely revert you down. With this thing, guys, thank you so very much for watching this video solution. God bless you all. Take care. Keep smiling.